Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here, and welcome to a tutorial on using exploders in your map. So, exploders are a way to turn on and off lights and effects. So, it really depends on what you're on what you're kind of needing. So, for this video, I'm going to be making electricity appear when the power is turned on. So, as soon as the power switch has been turned um, on, um, some effects will be playing um, around these sort of like Tesla coils. So, first of all, of course, go into Radiant here. And we need to open up something called the Exploder Manager. So all you need to do is up here at the top, you can just right click, go down to Exploder Manager, there we go. And that's just going to open up here. Now of course you can position this wherever you like to. Um, I just have it here so it's nice and easy to see. So next what we need to do of course is put the actual effects into the map. Um, of course in your case you know, if you're using light, then put lights in instead. So I've already got an FX selected down here. Of course if you don't have uh, your FX browser, Right click and go down to FX browser just here, um, just as we did with the Exploder Manager. So I'm going to drag and drop my effects into the map, like so. I'm going to just position it so it's roughly where I want it. Um, there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, this is only a test map. So. Uh, right, so next what we need to do is, of course, actually make these into Exploders themselves. So if we go to Exploder Manager and I just I'll plug the effects right now so we can see it. If I select each FX, now you can use one FX, you can use multiple, depends on you know what you're kind of needing. Um, I'm using two in this case. I'm going to select the ones that I need, and then I'm going to go down here to New Exploder from Selected. Go click that, and I'm going to give it a name. Now this name is really important because this is, this is going to be what it's known as uh, within the script. So in this case, I'm just going to call it something simple like Power FX. So Power underscore fx okay uh, of course make sure you don't have spaces uh, just you know common practice really you know to not have spaces you make sure you're using underscores and names um, name this whatever you like try and make it pretty self-explanatory though so when you do come back to it you kind of know what things do so power effects will do for me I'm just looking okay now you can see we've had these two effects added to this list under power effects so Whenever we refer to power effects, it's going to know it, you know, it means I'm talking about these two effects. Of course, if we had five effects, then, you know, it would act upon five effects. And of course, if there's only one of them, it would do one of them. Now, if I do want to add some more, I can very simply just add, add another FX. Go down here to new explorer from selected. Uh, I can give it either a different name, I can give it the same name, and you know, of course, if it's the same name, it'll add it to this. And if it's a different one, it will, of course, make a new um, sort of collapsible tab here. So, next, what we need to do is just have a look at some of these options. So, the default state here is on. Now, it sounds a bit weird, but having this selected so as state on will actually mean that when you first spawn into the map, the effects will not be playing, okay? It's only then going to be playing when you actually activate it. Um, I know it doesn't really sort of seem like that, but that's exactly what happens. Okay, so this is default to have them selected. And then in the map, they'll be turned off by default. So of course, you've got a bunch of other options. You can really just mess about with these, so see what they all do. I personally haven't really messed about with these. I've never really needed to, but if you do, you know, see what each one does, why not? So next what we need to do is, of course, actually call them, right? We need to do something within the script. So I'm just going to press escape and just deselect everything, okay? And now I'm going to go over to my file browser and we'll go over to my Black Ops 3 root directory. So this is where you install the game. And we'll go over to my user maps, my map name. In this case, it's just ZM underscore test. And I'm going to go into my scripts folder, ZM, and I'm going to open up my map name.gsc, so zmtest.gsc. Uh, there we go. Now, um, of course, you know, if you are using a different script, you know, if you already maybe, you know, or maybe you already have a script set up, feel free to use that. Um, I'm just doing this purely just for like a tutorial purpose where I'm going to be monitoring the power and I'm going to turn it on once power's on. So, first, what we need to do is make sure we actually have this up here, okay? Now, it, Exploder shared. Um, that's of course, you know, really quite important. So use it, hashtag using scripts shared, exploder shared. Um, I will be putting any sort of lines of code in the description, so it's nice and easy to just sort of see how things are spelled um, in case you uh, can't quite make it out on screen. So 
all done ahead of time is I've just made a uh, a line here where it says monitor power. It then runs its function down here, monitor power. It's simply just going to be waiting until power is turned on, and this here is where things will happen. Um, I didn't want to script loads of stuff for this video just because it's you know it isn't a scripting video. Um, so within here, I'm going to be putting uh, the exploder stuff. So you know we'll be turning on the exploders uh, named power underscore fx when the power is on, and then. In this case, I'm actually going to wait for five seconds and then turn them back off, just so we can see that you know they are sort of you know they are able to be turned on and off. So all we need to do is type exploder. Let's make a new line. So exploder, double colon, uh, exploder, and then we're gonna do open and close bracket, put a semicolon at the end, and two quotes. So well, two double quotes. So within here, this is going to be the actual name of the exploder that we just called it. Uh, you might, re you know, re refer to this part here, okay? The power underscore FX. So I'm going to go over to here and we'll put power underscore FX, like so. And all it's going to do now is when the power gets turned on, it's going to be playing the FX. As I said, you can put these wherever you want. I'm just doing it uh, when the power is turned on for this, uh, this use case. So next what we need to do is I'm actually going to copy and paste this just because I don't want to type it all out all over again for no reason. So to turn it off, it's almost the same, but instead it's just kill underscore exploiter. Okay. So it's going to turn the exploiter on. That's going to obviously activate them to FX. And then we're now going to just wait for five seconds. So just wait five. And then after five seconds has passed, it's then going to be um, stopping the FX. Um, and it's as simple as that. Okay, so I'm going to just save this. Uh, I'm going to jump into the launcher, just go and compile the map, make sure everything's ready. And then I'll see you guys over in game where we can see this actually in action. Okay guys, here we are in game. Let's just go over to the power switch. Well, first of all, you can see there's no FX playing. We're going to turn the power on. And now you can see there's now FX playing. Let's give it a few seconds and it should turn off. There we go. And it's now been uh, turned off. Um, of course, you know you can leave that playing. Um, you know you don't you don't have to be turning it off. Um, I just wanted to show that you know you can turn it on and off. So yes, yeah, so hopefully this has helped you. Um, there are a lot of situations where exploders can come super useful. So you know see what you guys can create. Other than that, of course, if you have any questions or whatnot, then please leave them in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.